everybody, and welcome back to some more Don't Starve, where we attempt to, as always, not starve. Now, you may be noticing something. There is a problem. Um, I My game crashed last time I recorded. And when I went to stop the recording, the game crashed, so I lost a little bit of progress. Nothing substantial, but I don't have um, a fire anymore. I, don't, I, I still found Chester. Um, but outside of that, I lost basically everything I had gathered. I didn't, I didn't get my fire pit, so I got to kind of go around and recollect everything that I already collected once or twice so I absolutely need to get all that stuff back and once I do we'll be back to the same spot I had before again the general consensus or the general goal rather not consensus as if I'm asking some sort of uh okay anyway sorry I was like why oh, okay Josh is talking to me um we are gonna be playing XCOM after that's why he's asking anyway so we uh we have to get all our basics set up in order to do that I need some more stone, apparently. Apparently I lost all the stone? Oh wait, no, it should be inside him. Yeah, hi Chester. Uh, take the nitrate. We'll trade off. I need to go collect some stone so I can get some sort of fire pit going. With the fire pit, I'll feel a bit safer. And again, just getting all the basics set up is kind of the goal. So, and Chester, I read everything you guys said about Chester, by the way. I'm very glad he will not leave me so long as I keep the bone. And wherever I put the bone, he will stay. So, um... That's good. I, I think you guys said he's relatively hardy too, but I don't want to risk that. So um, typically, I might end up just unfortunately using him like a regular chest. I mean, it'll be good to have him as a, a mobile carrying like kind of capacity, but at the same time, I fear for his life in my own. Uh, so and as I know, I'm pretty god awful at keeping things safe. If you go back to my older playthroughs, um, keeping the, the the small birds kind of safe was. Always a complete and utter disaster. I never was able to pull it off, so I expect the same to happen here. Um, I just don't, I just, I will basically try to keep him out of danger at all costs. I need more rocks. If this means wandering further away and finding a new home comparatively, then that's fine. I feel like I might, I, I, I lost more than I, than I had gained here. Well, obviously I did. Wow, that was one of the worst statements I probably have ever made. But, um, I lost more than I should have lost on the game crash. I don't know where I can get any rocks. I gotta look. Ugh, such a pain in the butt. On the bright side, berries, uh, I'm coming across quite a few of them. And carrots should keep me mostly full. Oh, I heard a bang. I thought someone was coming in my door. Ah, perfect. Some rocks over here. We can definitely take this sucker down. And we can, uh... Hopefully get some solid fire up and running as well. Um, we need, what, 12? So we need one more. We're going to get a gold, which is great. We're going to have three gold, which is a really good start. We can get our science machine up almost no problem, almost right off the bat. Um, let's, but I, again, the, for the goal, I should be focusing not on the science machine, Mathis. Don't focus on the science machine. Focus on getting rocks. And if you can get rocks, then you can focus on a science machine. Again, I'm going to need to go look for rocks soon anyway. I do not want to waste wood on, uh, I don't want to waste my wood on building another temporary fire. I don't. So I'm going to take down another tree just in case. Uh, but I definitely don't want to waste any more wood if I don't have to. Um, I'm going to, though. I have a feeling I'm not going to find any more stone, any more uh, usable stone until tomorrow's in-game day. But uh, fingers crossed that I do because I'd rather not have to. Then again, I probably would have to anyway, even if I found stone, because I'm going to want to take time to find a suitable home, and since I've kind of wandered away from my original home that I kind of put together last episode, I'm going to have to do the same thing. Uh, I might end up doing a different one this time, because I've wandered so far away, as I said, so, ugh, conundrums that I have to face. My life is so difficult. All right, let's, uh, let's keep wandering in un unexplored territory, being cautious, obviously, about what's around the corner and all, but uh, being optimistic that we're going to come across something before something comes across us, I guess is something is a way to put it. I don't want to die is what I'm trying to say. And I, again, I don't think I'm going to be running into anything horrible unless I come across a swamp, but if I come across a swamp, I will be turning around and not even going near it. I am not going to play that game. I've already lost that game before, and I'd rather not play and lose again. We have about... About half of the dusk hour left before we lose everything. Ah, good. Perfect. Holy crap. I can hear a tiny tree growing inside. Oh, the pine cone. I was like, what is he talking about? Awesome. So we did find rocks. I'm going to chop away until my mind pick busts. And then we will just plop down a fire.
for temporary comfort for the night, since the nights tend to go by pretty quickly now. And it's broken. Great. Can I build another one, actually? I can. So I might as well. I'm just going to kind of bang away at rocks until I absolutely have to throw down a fire. I'm okay with that. I accept that. There you go, buddy. Mmm, delicious. Come on, pal. This way. You're so... He's actually really adorable in a really bizarre, creepy kind of way. What is his legs made out of? They look like they're kind of made out of springs. That's kind of bizarre. Though I can imagine they are made out of springs. But how does he see me? Does he just smell where the bone is and just has no qualms with opening his mouth to whatever strange hand comes near it? So long as he possesses the miraculous and magic bone. Alright, let's slow this down. We're going to get in a little bit of danger. If we don't do so now. Oh, there's some rocks over there, too. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. It's fine. We're just going to grab another axe. I didn't want to burn any more wood, but I'm going to because I'm breaking wood in order to do this. So I'm okay with losing it. I just want to get it just in case. Does he just sleep at night, or does he follow me? Anyway, I was saying I want to take down these trees in case uh, I end up burning them down. He does just sleep at night. Interesting. Okay, sorry, I made a mistake. I was just experimenting. Probably shouldn't have. Let's cook. Alright, so. We are looking pretty decent now. Can't really complain. Though I'm sure I could figure out ways to. Chester does sleep at night, so he's kind of useless during the day, I guess. Um, I wonder if he sleeps at night because he's near a fire, though. Or if it's because he is, um... Or it's just because he's night. Because if it's, if it's because he's near a fire, that's fine. I, I, I can accept that, no problem. It's because other... Uh, because it's nighttime, then I gotta keep that in mind. And if I'm gonna take day trips with him, I gotta make sure I get somewhere safe or get him back to camp uh, before night ends. Okay, fire's going low. We'll throw a log in there. Just a log. No need to throw anything else, anything more. Though, there we go. One extra. Just so I can start mining this now. I like to try and get a head start so I don't have to worry about it during the day. Yeah, oh, okay, he doesn't sleep. He just is taking a nap because it's nighttime and I wasn't moving. All right, all right. Whoa, relax. Come on, Chester. Over here, pal. All right. And it's raining. Perfect. Whatever. That's fine. I accept that as well. Come on. Collect the berries. Stop freaking out. There we go. All right. So now we got to find a place we can call our own. A place we can call home. How cute. Uh, let's take a look. Where are we? This is kind of a neat little place just to throw down a basic fire. That'd be kind of cool. I'm almost sold right there, though I don't think it matters all that much, and we'd be near some rocks if we needed some. Near a good chunk of it, it looks like. What is that noise? Oh, we're into the chest pieces again. Pick up boxing. Okay, come on, Chester. Alright, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to place a fire pit over here. We're going to call this home. And we're going to drop the bone here. Stay, boy. Stay, good boy. And we are going to try and grab this chest thing without getting killed. That is going to be the ultimate goal. Is uh, getting this chest thing because these things... Oh, Lord! Come on. Alright. Lightning strikes, it's fine. I, I kind of peed myself ever so slightly. Come on. Good. We're going to grab this box thing. Okay, come on. I can mine that pillar, apparently. I hear a tall bird. Good to know. Up, up, up. No, no, get away from me, tall bird. Why are you mad at me? I didn't do anything. Go attack the chest pieces, if anything. Come on. Both you boys. Come on. I have no issues just doing this. And then doing this. There we go. Perfect box thing run. I got it. I got it. Get away from me, birdie. This is may control the polarity of the whole universe. Yes. Utter success. Holy crap, that was dangerous. All right. We'll take these. Oh, that's perfect, actually, that that broke just now. Um, We'll throw this down, and we can even start throwing down our basic stuff, like a science machine. Yes. Let's uh grab this. Oh, good, and it stopped raining. Let's grab. I just throw down a science machine right here. Yes, thank God. Thank God. Alright. What else do we want to build right now? Backpack immediately. Thank goodness. And even a chest if we can. No, we should start refining some stuff. Unlock refinement. Um, rope. 
And that should be that. Let's pop him open and throw all this in Chester for now. All right, Chester, stay where you are, buddy. We're going to be throwing down some of this in here. All right, there we go. One of these. All right, so we've got a, we've got a sweet, sweet setup now. Thank God. That's all I can say. Thank God. Um, let's build... I don't want to build a trap. Where is uh, the chest under again? I know, I know. I forget all the time. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. There it is. So we need three. We need three refined wood. We can get two right there. And I'll chop down some more over here. No problemo, senor. We'll have a chest down in no time. And home will start looking like home again. Let's just get this. We gotta get that other one that we have inside Chester. And we even have a lot of seeds. We can even start building a, uh, a tree farm pretty quickly, actually. So I'm probably gonna want to chop down wood before night falls as well, but that's fine. Come here, Chester. Just gonna take this from you real quick. And that's a winterometer. We don't need that for now. Cut stone, maybe later. Uh, where is it? Is it in here? No. It's gotta be in here. Yes, chest. All right, let's uh, let's just slap a chest down over here for now. Then I guess. Awesome. All right, cool. So we're looking much, much better than we were last episode. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you next time.